Uh, okay. Okay. Great. So, good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great sleep, and I hope you all submitted your um, interim submission. And we will just do a roundtable check as always. And yeah. So our questions are going to be: How are you feeling today? Did you submit your interim submissions? Are you facing any blockers? And also, how's your um, group dynamic? So, I will just start with um, Abraham, and then we can uh, move on to the next person, or, or I'll just make sure to write it in the in the comment section. So, yeah. So, Abraham, are you ready to speak? And also, good morning. If, uh, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Um, okay, maybe we can go um, to the next person, Malaku. Malaku, can you speak up? You're on mute if you're speaking. Okay, then let's go to the next person. Um, Tamaskan, can you speak up? Okay. Um, I don't know why everyone just chose to be silent today. Um, I mean, uh, we expect you, you know, to communicate with us, to, you know, just help us, help you. So, okay, great. Um, we can, yep, we can speak up. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, okay, I have one question. Is the host machine is still available or I can manage to get you? Can you repeat, please? Okay, is the W is the the, mm -hmm. the host machine is running or not? Um yes, I think Natnail uh mentioned that it was working yesterday. Uh I'm not sure, so I'll just check on him and also let you know. Yeah. And also uh is there anyone else who's facing the same issue as uh Michael? Okay, Tacho, Jabez, Hillary, um, you can speak up. So I think Tacho was first. Uh, can you please open up your mic and uh, let us know how you're feeling, um, any blockers you're having, the group dynamics, and also if you uh, submitted your uh, interim submission. In the morning. Can you hear me? Yep, yes, we can. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Uh, I have submitted my interim submission, even though it's not that much uh, good improve, good progress. Uh, our group dynamics is good. We are trying to understand what's expected from the Swiss talent. We are taking discussions every day, and we are trying to help each other uh, understanding, working through the challenge development. So our group uh, dynamics is uh, so good after now. Um, uh, for the server, uh, this morning, yesterday it was working, but uh, today uh, it, it's face time out. So I think it, uh, it has been killed uh, for uh, the new server to start up. I, I guess it's my uh, intention. So any blockers, since the server was not GPU enabled, so we can't go to uh, go doing fine tuning and we can't write it. So today is Thursday. I'm not sure when are, when are we going to access the server with the GPU. Maybe if we have access today, we'll go to and try to work on fine tuning. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe one to be here. Uh, not posted just now that it's working. So could you just please check it right now and 
Let us know. He has posted on the Wix channel that the GPUs are working. So we can continue products. Okay. okay, great. Um, yeah, just let us know if it's not working. Uh, we will just make sure uh, to let you know once it's uh, up and running. So yeah, that's good. And thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Getacha, for the uh, detailed updates. Um, yeah, it's good that you've also submitted your intern submission. Just remember, it's always, always better to submit than uh, not submitting, even if it's not complete. Uh, just uh, make sure to submit what you've been working on. Uh, so yeah, we know where to help you and just in general where you are. So yeah, thank you, Getacho. So next we have, um, I think, Abraham, uh, no, Jabez. Jabez, can you speak up? Okay, good morning. Uh, yesterday we were uh, able to submit uh, our progress and we were also uh, working uh, or uh, figuring out hugging face and we are we try to uh, check out uh, the models in hugging face we don't we are not actually working on the uh, the llama because of the uh, gpu is not and yesterday the gpu was not available uh, i tried uh, today but uh, now but it's not working uh, I, I don't think if there is any configuration I have to do. I think it's, uh, we have to just use the previous one, yes. I think there is no new thing on that, but it's it's not responding. Uh, so if, if, if there is help, that will be good. Okay, okay, great. I see that um, most people are having the same issue. So um, yeah, I will inform uh, Natanael and also Yabubal as well. And our technical team is also listening, so hopefully it will be fixed just um, after the stand-up or just uh, while we're on the stand-up. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, good. And also, how's your uh, group dynamics, Jarvis? Yeah, uh, we informed yesterday uh, because we, ha we are only, three members are only remaining in our group. Uh, I think three persons uh, is, uh, are not available, but uh, two of us are working together and uh, uh, we are trying uh, to progress in our project. Okay, okay, good. So could you please do me a favor and just uh, drop me a message on Slack, if you don't mind? Okay, concerning the av uh, not available, Yep, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Um either ways it's uh, yeah, it's really good that you're uh that it's not holding you back and just you're moving forward with um the team member that's active. So yeah, this is really good. Uh it's good. So next uh we have um Hillary. Hillary, can you speak up? Yes, uh, and good morning. So I, uh, for me, yesterday was uh, I submitted my interim submission on time, and um, so I, I I've been working on uh, trying to understand the organization, and uh, yeah, I got the I got my hands on the document, the uh, notebook. It's kind of long and um, it was confusing, so I have some questions about that. But uh, so uh, group dynamic is good, so we we. We usually have uh, discussions and uh, <laughs> planning at uh, every at the, nearly the end of the day. So yesterday we discussed on how we, they, each and everyone can understand some uh, different aspects, like um, one on vector embedding, one on uh, the other two on tokenization, and and so on. So we divided on how we can first where to start from, and. Um, uh, so I don't know where I'm going to need GPU. I think it's where it's in Gary, in, in the training using Gary or, um, or Lama. But um, so my question is that, um, so in, in the sentence, yeah, when, using, when you're using sentence, please, we, I think you're using for 
we are, we are using tokenization and um, in that case we, I, I saw somewhere where we use TensorFlow but also when I ran it on my local machine it, uh, it told me that I didn't need GPU so uh, so like the question is that is this part of because I'm seeing training and in the document there is there are, we are creating model nearly in every cell uh, so uh, which one should we pick or are, uh, are all the cells relevant in the document that was shown? And are, are all of them necessary for um, for training or is, is it just for tokenization only? Okay, uh, are you talking about the modules on the document? Yeah, so we are creating um, sentence piece trainer the train and the sentence based processor and you are loading model m dot model so uh, i can see every nearly in every cell you are doing that but i'm assuming it's for different scenarios that's why i do it yeah if you're talking about the notebook or of centers piece it's just you different approach that you can use functionality you can do sentence piece for it doesn't mean you have to implement all of them so we can pick one and how, how do we like kind of choose is it for different scenarios um yeah i mean you will use centers before tokenization so that that functionality only which lets you uh, do tokenization based on what you want if it's character or another way you can use that functionality from sentence space okay uh thank you so my my other understanding is that if it's going to give us kind of uh, words or in it's changing the uh, i don't know the tokens to it's encoding and giving us ids so are we are we to pass those ids to the model now for training yeah i mean you can pass the ids or the tokens themselves not before uh, transferring them to the model you have to do embedding so what you will see the model is the embedding vector representation. Okay, okay, sorry. Um, like after tokenization, I see that we we get IDs, uh, from the text we, we gave it. I don't know. It kind of learns and then it generates IDs. Yes. Uh, so do we? Are we going to do some other part like embedding before we give it to the model? Yes, that is the approach. You do embedding then pass it to the module. So we take the IDs to the to, to the embedding to uh, for vector embedding. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All the tokens themselves also you can pass them to the embedding. It's the difference. Okay, okay, good. So um, how are you feeling, Hillary? And also how's the interim submission? And also I think you said your group dynamics is good. So how is the interim submission? And also how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. So for the interim submission, I was kind of confused what to put there, but I, I what I wrote is kind of my understanding and, and what I learned and, and the progress mostly. We didn't do much, we need reprocessing. And uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm optimistic. I, I hadn't started, uh, kind of getting my hands on tokenization and uh, these concepts, but I'm, um, I'm glad that uh, most of it is working, and I'm feeling great. I'm looking forward for the GPUs um, later to train. Okay. Okay. Great. This is good. So, so for the GPU, I'm I, just yeah. um, oh okay. Javis, when you say before the AWS is not working, I, do you check it after not the post on on week six channel or? Yes. After. Yeah, after. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have also alerted Matinee, so um, in the meantime, could you please help us uh, check if it's working or not? And then, uh, yeah, we will inform him as well. So, okay, good. So next we have um, Tamaskan. Yeah, I think uh, Tamaskan. Yeah. 
Yeah, Thomas, can, can you speak up? Yes, good morning, guys. Good morning. Uh, for for our progress, um, I'm, a, I'm a group with the uh, life and uh, we have a big collaboration. We have a daily meeting and stuff, and I have managed to submit the yesterday's deliverables and uh, I'm feeling good. That's good. And my blocker is uh, none of our none of us from our group has money to download the llama. Uh, I I keep trying. It's uh, about 60, uh, 60 something percent, and due to connection problems, it fails and stuff because it's such injury. Yeah. And uh, I, I, want, I want to ask if there is another alternative way to use the llama, or, or if maybe if we, we can download it on the AWS service uh, on the only AWS instance. That's what I want. Okay, I think uh, this is a technical question. Uh, Ramat, can you take on this? So you try to download the llama on your local machine without any GPU? Yeah. Yeah, it, it might yeah. not. It might need some GPU. Yeah. Were you trying to clone it or? Clone it, yeah. Mm. It might be uh, maybe try it on Google Colab since it has a much better GPU than our local notebooks. Okay. Until the if AWS the, work. If the AWS is is uh, yeah. the, the, the Google Colab better than the the one in integrated uh, right now on our instance? Okay, so we have not about not enough time, so you. Your problem will be fixed. Uh, I want to know if we can clone it on the, the instance. Hmm? I want you to right? know if we can uh, clone the Lama 2 or Lama 3 on the AWS instance. Yeah, you can do that. It's possible to do that. Okay. Okay. Great. So, how are you feeling, Tanaskan? And also, how's your um, group dynamics? I think you said it's going well. And also, how is the interim submission? The interim, the interim submission. Uh, I didn't work on it well. I just, I just uh, mentioned all the research and review I have done. It's uh, an overview. I think that's what what is required also. Uh, so it's enough, and uh, I, I I didn't, and I'm feeling great. The group dynamics is good, and we are optimistic if the blockers are fixed, we are optimistic to to make it to complete uh, the project by by deadline. And if I'm uh, Rudas, if I and have a couple of minutes to check on the Can you can you say it again? I, I think I lost you uh, on the last part. Okay. If I may have you for a couple of minutes, I'll DM you. I'll DM, I'll DM you in Slack. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can uh, reach out to me uh, whenever you want to. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no problem. Okay, so next we have Daisy. Daisy, could you please uh, open up your mic and speak? Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, so yesterday I managed uh, to submit the interim report. It was mostly a literature review. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on that, trying to understand everything. And so for the group dynamics, everyone, there are five of us and we are all active. We have daily meetings. And yesterday we realized that we were not sure about which model to use and which tokenizer. So we agreed to all research the model, the model, and then today we'll discuss and select the one that we'll find to you. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, I've also noticed that we cannot connect to the 
AWS instance as you could think. And yeah, I'm feeling great now that I have a better understanding of the technology. And oh, another question that I have is yesterday I didn't um, I didn't load the model. I didn't I was thinking of using um but the but multilingual case model. I didn't load it because I wasn't sure if I needed G, uh, I needed uh, to load it in a GPU environment. So I wanted to confirm that. Is it possible to load it? Should just load it um on Google Colab. I had that. And and try it out without pointing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So are you saying, is it possible to use Google Colab instead of the AWS instance? Is that the question, Daisy? Just to try it without fine tuning. Yeah, you can try it, but if it doesn't cause any error, it's, you are welcome to continue with the Google Colab, but it's likely to cause an error when you fine tune because the GPU is a bit minimum on the front and the free account. OK. So we just try it out. If it works, works. Yes, if it doesn't, you will need a better GP. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Good. So, any other blockers? It's good that you're uh, feeling great, optimistic. That's amazing. So you don't you don't have any other blockers, right, Daisy? No other blocker. Okay, amazing. That's good. So next we have Ab uh, Abraham. Abraham, yes. Can you go next? Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, about our team dynamics, uh, we had a huge team dynamics. We are communicating uh, effectively. Uh, uh, we, are, we are helping each other out, like we are doing what we can. Uh, uh, and about the interim assignment, we have uh, managed, I uh, personally managed to submit both the report and the repo. Uh, we have made some progress on uh, on task one, two, and three. Uh, uh, we did a literature review, and we have, uh, we tried to do some uh, inference testing. Uh, we have looked at the LNMA2 survey uh, being chat uh, model from a given face. And when we try to when we try to run some inference history, such as question and answering explanation, the machine uh, could not handle the processing the request or loading the machine. Uh, I think it's because of the lack of GPU. Uh, we have tried quantization. But that have also failed uh, because because of the memory issue in the process. Yeah, now we have the GPU installed. I guess we can uh, finalize our uh, inference testing and we can move forward to uh, to uh, pre-training and quantization. And the other thing we did, uh, we did uh, that database accessing methods. We have defined the data accessing methods from our database and we have also uh, created a class that would uh, normalize the characters uh, normal we are working on normal characters so we'll be we have created normal normalizing characters and another another helping classes yeah that's our progress so far okay amazing that looks like a really good progress and also, so you don't have any blockers. Uh, the GPU was our blocker. Uh, I was testing it right now, and I'm seeing this. Uh, I was I'm seeing this issue. I think it should probably be it will probably be resolved, and the no blocker so far. But I have this question about uh, about how we are going to uh, go further. Yesterday, Yababal was Mr. Yababal was mentioning us three three metrics, such as language understanding, general task understanding, and specific task understanding. And we are planning to pre-train it and also fine-tune it. 
uh, is it possible only to do one thing, one task, maybe like only to pre-train it, not to fine-tune it, or to fine-tune it, no, but not to pre-train it, if that's possible. Also, since uh, we are building, since the objective of the project is to build a customer support chatbot, uh, uh, I'm confused on like on how we should further enhance the capabilities of this uh, LLA model. I mean, when you use models that are already pre-trained, you don't have to do the steps that that require pre-training. You just go through straight to find unique. Abraham, if that's clear. Uh, yes, yes, but uh, but the LLM method doesn't understand Amharic that much. I think we have to use maybe Gary's model. Yeah, That's maybe. Yeah, it might depend on the model, of course, the pre-training part. It might have some effect on whether you should implement pre-training or not. So, uh, that the concept maybe uh, I will go back to you on the slack, but that that is where it's. I mean, if the model doesn't need pre-training, you don't have to do that. But if it does, maybe you can. You should do some pre-training. So um, okay. maybe yeah, just use Orgari. Let me just uh, get back to you with proper answer. I think. Okay. So okay. We are planning to use uh, yeah, okay. LLM too. But we, uh, we have plans to do both, to pre-train mm -hmm. it, to understand, to give it more context in our work since it's... Yeah, uh, I mean, that would make the model much better performance. If you can, if you do that, that will just increase the accuracy of the model performance. Okay. Okay. But like, would it be uh, enough to do only one task, maybe? Just like pre-training it with enough data and proving that like we have pre-trained the data to understand Amharic more. Would that make sense for this project or do we have to fine tune it? That's my question. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's better if I get back to you. I, I see where you're saying it's just, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to you on the Slack. Okay. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, okay, good. So, and also, Abraham, I will also be tagging you on Slack just to forward uh, the question you just asked uh, so that Nathanael will also uh, get to see. So, yeah, okay, that's good. Um, great. So, uh, we're four minutes. Uh, Late, late, I would say, but I would okay. Uh, Apple Worker, I think, is raising his hand, or is it by mistake? I uh, know, okay. Oh, okay, if time, is, time is up. I think. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. We can still take on one or two people, so yeah, you can speak up. Okay, okay, yeah. So, uh, for submissions, uh, actually submitted, uh, was it done? Uh, as to how I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit nervous actually. Also, uh, in particular, uh, some of uh, the directions we will go would have like more more directions to go. So, like choosing how to or how where which way to decide is that's maybe that's why. So, and uh, as for, I think the next one would be uh, Team Dynamics. So, as for Team Dynamics, uh, I think it's a bit confusing right now. Uh, so, it lacks uh, proactivity. Uh, also, like only, like in terms of, I, I can't, I don't know what to say, but it's a bit, we didn't do, as much as last week, uh, I don't know why. Uh, like uh, some of the some of us have and actually uh, 
for example, if one, if one of us are not proactive, all of them will not be proactive. So that is actually another problem I had. So that actually uh, stalls the progress. Also waiting on, uh, for example, another person to actually do the job would actually stall the project also. So that's also another problem we have on our team. So that stalls the project, the project's progression. And uh, on the questions, I think most of them are mentioned. So the currently it's not working. Maybe yeah, it will. I think it will be resolved. So I think the next task would be for us to actually pre-train it. So once we made the cleaning, I think my understanding, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm not correct or if I'm wrong, let me know or have a say. But uh, we, uh, I tried to tokenize, uh, clean that some of the data is actually uh, that's actually a test. Once the GPU is live, I think that's where we will start. We will start working, right? I guess. I mean, I mean, you're saying for cleaning the data or worker? Uh, yes, yeah. So the tokenization step could be done locally, right? Uh, like on some words, it works. Yeah. It works. Okay. So I, I'm not quite sure I understand your question. I mean, you can do the cleaning on your machine also, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, we actually, we can, we just... Yeah, for cleaning, I don't think the AWS is that, that makes that much difference. Yeah. It's a fine tuning and the embedding might cause uh, my new GPU. Yeah, yeah the, and the tokenization stuff, sh shall I run it uh, locally? So... Uh, yeah, where... running, I don't know how much data you have, I just run it and if it work, works. It doesn't. I'm sure the AWS will work for it today, so we will move on there. Okay, so uh, I thought the tokenization would take a GPU and uh, half the data space. That's why. Okay. Yeah, just try it instead of just saying it might not work. It depends on your how much data that you have, so it might work on your local machine as well. Okay. Okay, I think Hilary also wants to speak up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so I wanted to, as Abubakar has mentioned, like we can do tokenization. Um, the, how is it? Uh, I think when we, I'm seeing like the files that are created, uh, that model and that vocab, are those the ones that are the ones that we are saving the tokenization, like the model, and we can just import it later to AWS? Oh, so so we can save the tokenization and import it later. Yeah, that's what I'm asking also because I'm seeing um, file name model because it's the model and we are loading it and using it to encode and decode. Yeah, I'm asking if that is the one that we is is where everything will be saved about the model. Okay, yeah, I I think so probably, but I have seen uh, some uh, using m dot model. I don't know all that, but. Maybe Rahmat could add on to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, not sure I'm understanding your question. Are you asking the model that you're using for tokenization or yeah? Uh, Hilary, if you can clarify. Okay, I want Yeah, yeah. So, so when, when we create a sentence based processor, we, I don't know, we, we load a model and uh kind of encode and decode text uh, tokens so uh i i am assuming the vocabulary as uh, the i'm seeing vocabulary being saved in a vocab file dot vocab and model in dot model so i'm asking when you are continuing with the tokenization is it being saved in that file and we can import it later yeah i mean on the notebook for the sentence piece the tokenization file is not particularly saved somewhere 
it's just a few tokenization i'll just put us an example right okay um yeah yeah maybe you should find a way to save it somewhere so you can pass it uh, on some variable or okay i'll work i mean sorry can, can i interrupt a little? so like what are we saving really is it the the ids, the IDs? Uh, i think you're talking following the notebook right you're you're asking this question following the notebook on sentence list yes i'm 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 trying to understand yeah, that have you, whatever data that you put on this need to be can you see all the token ids or the token variables for the data all of them yes if i put a text i can get uh, ids so i'm asking if that ids is the one you are using or um no i'm not asking you for a particular sentence just yes. the whole data. you you need to have the access to hold to the whole data's token ids and token uh, variables token characters okay okay I mean, the whole data tokenization values, IDs, and token characters should be able to be saved somewhere so that you can embed it. Yeah. Okay, so it's like example, the, example, the, example structures are the ones that are just put on the synthesis notebook. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll work uh, So, like the vocabularies, uh, for example, you used on the notebook uh, are like. Are they like found on the internet? Like I found the vocabulary. So I'm just using the model I sent on the Slack group. But if I'm try, if I'm if I try to use uh, the sentence piece, so we need a text file, I guess, so to train the model. So it like it's like a, I think a TensorFlow, or it's some model trying to predict the words, right? So we need a text file. Yeah, you need some text file or some variable or some array that you save that those tokens for, for all the data, not just few text that you ask it to answer you back. For fine tuning and embedding, you need to have all the data's tokenization vocabulary in IDs. So those data could be uh, gotten from anywhere or? No, so from the from model, all... yeah, when the tokenization do the tokenization, you have to make sure the tokenization is happening on the all the data that you have, and that output should be put as some on some variable or assigned to some variable or some array or some text file. And when you embed those, uh, when you do to the embedding process, those files should be able to be accessed by the embedding model for the entire data. That's Zachary, or am I confusing you? Uh, so, like, maybe I didn't do that that part so because the last, just, maybe that's no, what Let me just simplify that as much as I can. So there is a tokenization model, whatever the model is. So when you pass it, the whole the, the data that you pass to be tokenized, it will respond an output, right, for the whole data, tokenization values. Those values yes. should be are the ones that should be able to pass to the embedding model to get a vector representation. Okay, the output for tokenization would be for embedding, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, Gitacha. Uh, okay. What about the size of the, the vocal the vocal size? I mean, depending when we, on. The uh, I was when I was trying to to use, to, to recognize some text now mm. in my book. So can I can I put like five thousand or ten thousand the vocal the vocal the vocal size or is there any parameter to make it? I'm using sentiment, uh, sentence, uh, sentence piece. Yeah, I mean, you can adjust it as much as you want. Just make sure there is no data loss that happens when you, uh, those adjustments are happening because uh, not to make, uh, to increase cost when we're doing all that. They are for different purposes are those adjustments available to us. 
So you can just test them out. So what happens when you give it 500 and what happens when you give it 100 size for your vocabulary? You can see the difference when you find them. The vocabulary size, the vocab size is the, the, the size of the tickets that we are going to put for the module, yeah? Yes. Uh, so uh, if I hit the vocab size 5,000 and uh, I can, I have the right to put the, in the text like uh, text that uh, can be up to 5,000, right? In my understanding. It's, if I put the vocab size 1,000 and I am trying to put the text, the Amharic text more than 1,000, it throws me an error, I think. So it maybe throws you an error. Maybe the data that you pass is not enough to get one hundred thousand size. What is the error saying? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I just uh, used the term for the exact because it was saying that there was an error in the Amharic text. Yeah, I mean, it just uh, uh, read up which model the model you are using. Maybe you are exceeding limit, or the data doesn't go as far as one thousand. Uh, so it could be a lot of reasons. You just have to adjust them until you get the right um, uh, size. Okay, okay. I will, I will explain. Anyway, at, at the end of the day, how you will know your organization method or your embedding method is working is after you fine tune it and you ask that module some I'm hurry for whatever the language you are using. If it answered accurately, then you have the right adjustment starting from the beginning. If it doesn't, you have to repeat the process all over again until you get the accurate that you want. Okay. It's not, uh, yeah, it's okay to uh, not have the right amount. By making a lot of trials is how you make the model work at the end. Uh, over to you, Lucas. Okay. Okay, great. So I think we're almost like 10 minutes away from the first tutorial. So we can just wrap up the call. Um, yeah, if there are any questions, suggestions you have, please don't hesitate to speak up. Um, no questions, I think. Okay, okay, good. So yeah. Uh, we will be having tutorials and uh, community building sessions as always. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, make sure uh, to write it on Slack. We need more discussion on the Slack channel as well on week six. So yeah, I think that's all. So thank you all for joining. And